I wanted to confuse him. I put Alien Mars in last, so he doesn't attack through it, and he it immediately used that monster, and he realized he's locked into using effects. And he goes into Black Rose to try to destroy the field, but at the same time, this little Alien Mars... So then I go into uh, Sibling Snapper to snap the back row. He used a second Sound Judgment, and that's what I was waiting for. That's what I was waiting for. I wanted him to use that. So then I use Daybreak, so we... Hey, yo! This is your boy, Mind Control, coming back with another video. And as you can see again, we made it to Master Rank. I am very happy that we was able to do this, because this season was super toxic, man. I was running into a bunch of spicy decks, which is very, very good, but it's kind of like every time I lost the coin toss, everyone was making me go second so it wasn't no temp high it was mostly spicy decks that create super duper big boards that's unbreakable almost or it was temp pie with freaking forbidden droplet in hand so it was the pick of the poison and it's pretty hard to play against temp pie if they have forbidden droplet when you put in freaking um aliens but we did get some good gameplays and um i want you guys to sit back Relax, grab your popcorn, and we're about to have a good time. Cue the intro. And we're back. And it's first video of us going first. And we know, we already know what time it is. If you go in second in this, um, Pretty much this meta, if you're going second when you lose a coin toss, you're playing against a major board. If you're going first, you're playing against Tenpai. It's one or the other. So, we're going first this time. So we put Abyss in the graveyard. We drop Nunu and Nyla. And then we use the Abyss line because we had Nyla in hand so we only was able to pitch a dark. So we do our plays and it's um pretty much bread and butter. Yeah, pretty much. So we um first go into uh, Feral Imp so we can get another monster in hand. I think we go get Alien Mars and then we instantly use the freaking Daybreak to get Abyss and our 5 tokens because we need all 5 of them. So 1, 2, speed this up a little bit and then we get Alien Mars, yeah exactly. Just so we can have um, more of a uh, protection for our board which we will need. By the way, since we already got virus in hand, we end up getting recombination device instead, so we opted to get that. We got shock trooper, right? And alien Mars. And this, I dislike having my board like this, per se, because of the token. And normally, Tempai do not run uh, evenly matched, so we're good because they want to kill on one turn. So I was okay with keeping a token on board, but I normally do not like it for that simple fact. Pretty much, try not to do this. And um, there was nothing I could really do to get this token on board that won't mess up my plays. And he immediately imperms us, right? And then forbidden drop us. And he get rid of the trap. So this way, I cannot uh, chain our virus. But with recombination devices, he didn't send a spell card. I was able to um, chain recombination device and chain the trap to the recombination device as you can see so that was that's one way to get this engraved so we can start getting tokens on board so he did do good by getting rid of the trap because normally people don't, don't do that but he wasn't like forcing us chaining recombination device to that so that's one way to get around it but still he negated everything so we get a fist on board playing defense mode so we can block an attack so we don't die in one turn but it may it may not happen. So he basically have everything that he could possibly have, right? He get the fill spell. He got um, Tundra in hand. But everything is getting tokens right now. And as you know, Shock Trooper does have the uh, secondary effect. And I do not think he knows about it. So he immediately get rid of um, Zero, which is okay. And I'm thinking like, please don't attack the token. He get rid of Shock Trooper. So Shark Trooper would, allows me to summon non-link reptile monsters. Is it reptile? Yeah, reptile monsters 
for the amount of monsters you have on Phil. And since he has three monsters on Phil, I'm able to summon three reptiles. At first, I put Nylon on Phil first, so he can attack that one. I wanted to confuse him. I put Alien Mars in last, so he doesn't attack through it. And he immediately used that monster, and he realized he's locked into using effects. And he goes into Black Rose and tries to destroy the Phil, but at the same time, this little Alien Mars is negating everything. So now it's our turn. And we already know what's going to happen. I draw into Daybreak, so give me a break. You all set. So that's the first replay, and it's going to be some good ones. So yeah, let's go to the next replay. And we're back. And we're going first. And I believe this is when I won the coin toss. And this hand is hideous, right? Ugly hand. But we're going to make it work. So first thing we do, we um, summon out Night Sword and then use Recombination Device to use the Monster Reborn in Grave. That's the reason why I didn't use tokens, because then I won't be able to use the Monster Reborn, because you cannot, neither player can activate the effects of the monster that you're trying to summon from the graveyard. So if you activate its effects, then you're pretty much, I pretty much can't use anything. So I didn't activate the the um, Engrave effect, just so I can use the uh, spell card Monster Reborn. So we go into that. We go um, to Pro M, I believe. And this is where it gets bad, right? Oh no! Never mind, I'm bugging. So then I do that, put Nunu in the grave, and then Abyss. But it's still bad because there's nothing else I can do. And we're playing against a deck that is intolerable, right? We're playing against Cashier. So. If someone normal summons out Ogre, I'm thinking that they have no more Cashier of Monsters in, gray, in hand. Because that's a terrible star in hand. So you use Arise Heart, put Unicorn in um, Banish Mode, and he had the Burp in hand. Sucks for me, right? So he gets Unicorn in Ogre, um, on Phil, use the uh, Ketosis, brings out Seracol Crash, Cashier, and he basically miscalculate his whole thing. I don't know how you were able to miscalculate this bad. So he attacked all his monsters, and I believe he's like 900 short with five back row. He didn't go into um, Horizon, um, Kester, the banish everything. And he gave me a chance to live pretty much. So first thing we do is get rid of Unicorn because I want him to start getting rid of my extra deck. That's the reason why I put the tokens on that monster specifically. But then we have three back rows. So, we had to bait out all these negates. And we all know it's going to be freaking hard to do that. So, I use um, that to get to uh, Abyss and I chain block it with Stealth Buster to get this on Phil. First monster, I bring Nyla, see if I can get Daybreak. He allows me to do that. Craziness. So, then I um, bring Nunu back and then I go to Reptilian. Because if you're going to allow me to basically go crazy with my summons, I'm just going to get rid of your board. He's still judging me. First negate. So I'm thinking like, okay, cool. Whatever. It's not that bad. I still have more plays to make. So then I use recombination device to see if I can beat out more negates. He has nothing. Okay, cool. He re that's, why, that's what happened. I want him to birth. Use birth prematurely to get rid of the monsters that I really don't care about in Grave. So it was Night Sword, Step Buster, and Nyla. I have more of those in, in deck, so it wasn't that detrimental that he banished those. And I want him to get rid of Abyss. That's the reason why I use Recombination Device. Very smart, baiting him into using it. Because if he got rid of my Abyss, then I would have been pretty... That's my recursion. So I get my five tokens. And then, um... You pretty much build another board. So I use Shock Trooper to get, um, Curse and Grave. And I put a bunch of counters on everything. and. I remind you, I have Alien Mars in hand, just in case you want to get do something stupid. So then I go into uh, Silly Snapper to snap the back row. He uses second Sound Judgment, and that's what I was waiting for. That's what I was waiting for. I wanted him to use that. So then I use Daybreak. So we're gonna try to get some more recursion. Shuffle Pack Stuff Buster. Put Nunu in uh, Grave. Use that so I can summon out Nunu also. He brings back freaking uh, unicorn which we don't really care about I just need monsters on board at this point right we go into uh, 
Haggard to YOLO. We banish, uh, yeah, the, the Reptilian, put that to zero. Draw to Alien Kid, which is a hell of a draw, right? So as you know, Zoro has a secondary effect where you can do an extra normal summon. So we just get rid of counters on the board to get Alien Kid, and we're gonna have Alien Mars on board. And at this point, we can just attack the Unicorn with no um, resistance. It's good to go. Let's go into another replay. And we're back. And we're going first. And this, these are the free plays I usually get when I'm trying to climb and I'm like really close. So do not be mad about this replay. But yeah, I resolve Snake Ring, which always feels good. And I have an extra one in hand. So just in case you want to do something stupid, I have everything I could possibly need, right? So I grab Daybreak, use that, get rid of Curse, get my four tokens. And at this point, it's pretty much GG's, right? Unless you can um, Nibiru this, there's nothing really like I'm good to go. So I get Zoro, and then instead of opting and getting virus, I get recombination device. But he quits. And I have a couple more replays, but yeah, we'll just check it. And we're back. And I do not want to bore y'all with one um one turn gameplay so we just wanna go for a live gameplay right and we're on a four game winning streak and hopefully this goes well but yeah this is a deck that we're gonna run right now and we'll do it live because I do not want to bore you with the same gameplay of me going first and I'm quitting right so we're gonna queue into a game and we'll do it live some New stuff is almost like going live, but not really. So let's see. Are we going to win the coin toss? If we lose the coin toss. If he waits, see? Going second automatically, right? So hopefully this is not a terrible board that it kills my um my turn completely. Alright, so this is a pretty good hand if all goes well. So what I like to do is I like to turn off my... um. What you call it? No, I should kept it on. You know what? It's good, cause this is most like more likely gonna be um freaking Yubel, which kind of sucks. And I don't want to ash anything besides the uh, the little Yubel, the little flower shit. So we're gonna let him do what he need to do, because he probably has spirit gates in hand anyways. And it would just kill my turn anyway, so it wouldn't really matter. So let's see. Does he have the U Bell in hand? No, he doesn't. So he's gonna go into his uh, unchained line to try to get the uh, Shava. Oh no! Oh, please don't let this be no freaking. Oh man. Oh, so you do have it. Lotus. And this is what we turn it on. Since he didn't make a U Bell, so we're good to go. Unless he have a call of the grave, then we're we're, we're screwed regardless. But Cross out Designator. Ah, that sucks. That sucks. But we're good though. So when it comes to aliens versus U Bell, we kinda have a good matchup for the simple fact that we could push everything in defense mode and if they can't attack then we're we're good because we can just attack defense monsters and we have snapper that we can bring back from the grave to destroy the um nightmare pain on on call but this does kind of suck that he draw the one of in his deck which is cross out designated because we know he don't have no more and he more likely gonna make a full board Currently, I'm watching the Tyson and Jake Paul undercard. I don't want Tyson to get knocked out. That's all I care about, man, to be honest. I don't think he will. But, you know what I mean? We, we can't handle no more like, of our heroes being embarrassed this year. 
we're good. We just we just need this to happen. We just need him to do him dirty like he should be doing him dirty. And I'll be happy. I actually um use Draft Duel or whatever the hell that app is to um not bet, but like yeah, pretty much to um put in my uh probably against for the fight. Oh, it's gonna suck. Shava, okay. If I draw an Imperm, then I'll be great. If I don't draw an Imperm, then I'm kind of screwed. So Snake Ring, this is what's going to help me. Since I drew Daybreak, and they don't know that, then I'm at a, a huge advantage. And... If I draw Infirm, I'm good. I'm actually great. Because all his cards target. All his cards target. Escape of Unchain. Alright. And he have Link Monsters on Phil. He had two of them. Okay. Well, if we get both, rid of both of those. Well, we can't get rid of both of them. He's going to he's gonna bring an Appaloosa in, huh? Yeah, he's gonna do Appaloosa. Why do they not freaking um Bing Lock? Yeah. Should've known that. A lot of freaking cars, huh? Alright, let's see. Maxi! <laughs> Perfect timing. Alright. Let's just use Maxi now, alright? Great time to have Maxi. Alright. And what also sucks about this is he's going to get these two negates off because he has Nightmare Pain on Phil. Which Loki kind of pissed me off. Alright, we need this resolved very badly. <laughs> like, super badly. He don't have Ash. Safe to say he doesn't have Ash. Because he would already use it. So what I can do is I can um I can throw Stuff Buster on Phil. What nice sword? No, but regardless, he's going to um He's gonna negate something. Right? I don't know if he have an imperm. Let's just hope. I think I need Night Sword. Yeah, I think I need Night Sword. So I'm gonna get rid of I'm not gonna do one of the Nylas. I'm at Nunos. And go Night Sword. Just in case he have something back there. If that's a call by the grave. So he'll be forced to use it on um Night Sword. If not, then he's just going to negate it with one of his negates. <laughs> yep, there we go. So we got two more negates, and then we're good to go. Alright. So one more negate. And what can we use? Alright. Two, 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 two. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this. If that's an ash, I'm gonna be pissed. It can't be ash. It's probably a freaking, um... It's probably a freaking Call by the Grave. But we still have Daybreak in hand, so I'm not really worried. But I got to use uh, Lily prematurely. This would be our one way to um, get something back from Grave, which kind of sucks. 
but it is what it is. And I think what I'm going to bring back is I'm going to bring back freaking um, Abyss. Oh, that really sucks. What the fuck? You got to be fucking kidding me, dude. Who runs Solemn Judgment, bro? Okay. Well, there's nothing else I can do. Okay, well, what we can do is we can do this. Because he more likely going to throw something in. Um, throw something in. in grave. He might throw something in grave. You fucking bitch. Yeah, it's game over. Yeah, that's my five street went that's my five game one street right there. That kinda sucks though. I'm I'm I apologize. I couldn't get it done. But as you can see for whatever reason, this guy decided to run freaking Solemn Judgment 3 of, right? <laughs> I guess. Um, I've seen the influx of people running Solemn Judgment too. Who was it? It was one of these people. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't sure to replay because it's only one turn, so... There's no purpose. But one one of these decks was running Salem Judgment. This one. Oh, the cashier. Yeah, I, we've seen this replay. But it is what it is. So this is the deck. And yeah. As you see, as you can see, it runs pretty well. But we died to a Solemn Judgment. <laughs> By like, no one could have guessed that was a solemn judgment. I thought it was a freaking call by the grave. Even an imprint would have been okay, but a solemn judgment. And he thought long and hard about committing to that solemn judgment. And yeah, oh yeah. By the way, um, the link event, the link in the X XC event, you can use this whole the same deck. Just take out the maxis and um. You have to take out the SP go tonight because you can't use SP. And we're good to go. I think I was running. What was I running? Oh no, I was running this month, this card. Which I might put in my deck as is. Is this one um the serpent strike? Cause you can basically take monsters off field to summon monsters from the uh from the freaking grave that's a different attribute. Was it attribute or level? What different attribute than the original? So if it's a light, dark, night sword is a great target if it's on field because it's water and nobody uses really water. Um, I mean, none uses water besides that one. And then also alien Mars is also another good target because it's fire. So yeah, I think I might run this one permanently and take out the brainwash beam because it hardly resolves and it's a slow card so but this helps me fix my um fix my hand and th throw things into grave but yep yeah, this is the gameplay and i'm uh, sorry that i couldn't get rid of that uh cash tier i mean you bail freaking player but it was a supply some judgment but as you can see we played through all of those negates and it came down to one secret card that he had laid face out but besides that, my name is Mind Control. We got more videos coming. I think my next video will be a voiceless voice where um, I have more interaction 
gameplay, so I show a longer, longer video of that. But this, these are mostly like one turn done, and they see me resolve daybreak and they just quit. So I got a lot of easy wins off of that alone. But yeah, my name is Mind Control, and thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, cue the outro. Thank <laughs> you.